this morning I was thinking to myself, you know, there are a few things in life that you don't get to choose. One of them is your children. You don't get to choose the children you have. I mean, who and the person that they are, you know, born to become. You don't get to choose them. You also don't get to choose your parents and your family. You know, you're kind of just born into it. Uh, it made me to think about this conversation I was having with my cousin uh, a couple nights ago, a couple mornings ago, actually. I was, we were discussing about uh, losing our close relatives. Uh, we have lost some uh, pillars in our family uh, recently. My mother being one, uh, Bruce, his mother being one, Elaine Copeland. And uh, most recently, we just lost uh, her sister, uh, Rose Hunt. And uh, it's like a whole generation passing out, you know, moving on to the new generation. And, you know, for my family, uh, we are kind of spread around, you know, from North Carolina to New York, uh, even down in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and California, and uh, I understand in Chicago, too. So, you know, we are kind of spread all over, uh, and now in Ghana, you know. So as I was talking to him and I was explaining to him, you know, uh, our family, we have a unique family as well. Part of my family moved from North Carolina to New York and then uh, moved back down to and back down to North Carolina and then, you know, and spread from that place. Spread like that. <coughs> it spread like it's kind of spread in, in that kind of way. Uh, there was, you know, something about the uh, African American history that was something called the Chicken Bone Trail <laughs> that led from. Uh, 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 the south to the north, uh, where you find uh, chicken bone, fried chicken bones. That was something that showed the people would jump on the train and move, you know, from the south to the north. That was part of the Industrial Revolution at that era. That kind of moved people up into Harlem, Harlem, New York, uh, which essentially gave birth to the Harlem Renaissance, you know, which was called the Harlem Renaissance, uh, where, let's say, uh, where an interpretation of uh, African uh, uh, reassurgence after post-slavery <laughs> to become um, more artistic and that sort of thing. You know, people are funny. So, yes, yeah, so as I was explaining to him, you know, our uh, family and, you know, that we have my mother essentially, and it was really Rose Hunt, our, his aunt and my cousin, who really uh, began to travel outside of the United States and come to Ghana back in 1957. And when she came to Ghana in 1957, she inspired my mother. Uh, my mother, she, she inspired my mother, you see. And during that inspiration, she came and moved her life here. And that was the beginning of our uh, repatriation you know it was through our through our, our you know somebody inspired my mother that is just so happened to be a direct relative and my mother brought also it was an inspiration is an inspiration was an inspiration and also rose was an inspiration to me as well to come and uh, establish ourselves here in in Ghana or Africa as to, to be for quite frankly so uh, that's part of our journey and the you know uh, I don't know if the rest of my family really sees it from that perspective or they have that type of understanding of uh, you know what took place when uh, we were given citizenship or and those that will be getting it you know uh, out of uh, 5,000 what they say 5,000 uh, African Americans or diasporans living within Ghana uh, 100 and Let's say 150 people have gotten their citizenship. Let's just say 200. Let's say 200 has gotten their citizenship. You know, when you consider the whole movement of African people uh, through the door of no return, the, even if you go back to the migration from 
uh, east to west or east south west yeah through the door no return uh, to the arab slave trade then to uh, the transatlantic slave trade through the door no return through all of that and then to make it back here now you know uh, it's a it's a long journey you know and uh i don't uh not appreciate it you know so i, I you know, I've often talked about it then, and it has a value. So, you know, it's a story that needs to be told. If you don't tell it, then maybe uh, you miss an opportunity to inspire somebody to take it another step further. I, by all means, my children will be uh, inspired by, by my grandmother, my great aunts, my cousin, and their grandmother, and my mother, you know, uh, and, and, and myself, and my wife, to... Uh, you know, take it to the next level. That's what it's all about. Born again, Africa.